Hello everyone and welcome back. This video, I have to admit, has been long overdue. It kind of slipped my mind. It was supposed to come out probably a year ago, but I really do apologise. But I do have to complete the series on ranking these tracks. So we're going to get straight into it. Starting off with 8th place has to be Madrid Drive. I do enjoy this tour track, there's quite a few great locations, of course you drive through like a soccer field and all of that good stuff, and a museum. For me, it didn't really hit the nail on the head like the other tour tracks do, I'd say one of the best ones would have to be Athens Dash, and um, maybe even like a Paris Promenade. I like what they did with Madrid Drive, but for me, it, there needed to be a bit more, and it just wasn't as eye-catching or as memorable as some of the other ones. Coming in at 7th place is Daisy Circuit. Uh, from the Wii, I always thought this track was one of those filler tracks. It is nice to see in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, but at the end of the day, when I played it on the Wii, it was just kind of like one of those tracks that you just, it was just in there. It wasn't really remarkable, there wasn't really anything good about it, but you know, uh, it's okay. I do like it, I like the changes, but then again, it's why it's 7th. In 6th place would have to be Rome Avanti. I do love the theme for this one, it's night time, it looks very cool, you get to drive past like the Colosseum. I really do like it. I'm not going to insult the track in any way, because... The only reason it's in sixth place is because I do like the design and also the gameplay of the other tracks that are coming up in this list. But this one looks fantastic and I think they did it justice. In fifth place we have Rosalina's Ice World from 3DS I think it is. This one I was surprised to see come back to the game but I am actually satisfied it did because I just feel like it has this very magical touch that other ice tracks fail to have like i think one of them's ice ice outpost which i just can't stand and um i feel like this one was definitely needed it just looks fantastic and the music for it's also good and i am glad they brought it back from the 3ds it really looks great in fourth place is piranha plank cove this one's another nitro track uh, basically a whole new one that I think only made its way onto tour and then it came back for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. This one looks great, it's very original and I think the soundtrack is also fantastic. And I like the ruins theme, like you spend a lot of the time of the track underwater and then you just go into a bunch of ruins, like bridges, all of that good stuff. And I feel like there's some great glider work included with this as well. It just looks fantastic, it, it really does look good. I feel like it's one of those underwater tracks that just is flawless pretty much because you've got like I think Dolphin Shoals which I wasn't really a fan of and then you've got other ones like Water Park which I'll put on the screen which is just very boring. Piranha Plank Cove definitely clears all of them. Moving on to DK Mountain. Now these three, the two coming up afterwards and also DK Mountain. I had kind of a tough time beside in between because DK Mountain's one of those tracks from the Wii that was amazing and I was I was hoping that it would make its way to Deluxe and it did and I think they made it look fantastic. It was brilliant. Uh, there's only a little bit of a tidbit. I think at some point in the track they added fences to where you would usually use a shortcut which it's only a small minor detail that kind of threw me off guard but as far as that everything looks great i love the volcano obviously and everything else to go with it and yeah third place is where i'm putting it and here we go let's find out what is first place let's do this in second place i had to go with bowser castle 3 the amount of work that went into this, it, it, you can just see how great it looks. From the last console it was on, I'm not really sure what it was, I'll put it on the screen, but I want to do like a side-by-side -side comparison. They made this map look so 3D and just, they used so many mechanics to make it look great. And just a better experience in general. You've seen a lot of the Bowser Castle tracks back in the day like N64, GBA, that it would just look flat 
uh, like corner turn zigzags, just boring gameplay. But with this one, they really knocked it out of the park. And I feel like the music is amazing as well. And just the whole track in and of itself is just such an adventure. And I feel like they couldn't have done it any better with this map. It is fantastic. And finally, it has to be first place Rainbow Road. I feel like this one just brought back so many memories of playing it on the Wii back in the day and it wouldn't be the same if it wasn't in Deluxe. It's fantastic. I remember they did only two laps when it was brought to the Tour version but I'm glad they made it a full three laps because that's what we needed. And of course not to mention the colours are just amazing, Just the graphical design is out of this world literally you see what i did there and that's pretty much it and it's got the classic soundtrack that we all grew up with and yeah anyway that's where i'm gonna leave it there so yeah that is it from me i do hope you enjoy the rest of your day this has been a long time coming i can't even lie but i'm just happy to get it out and i hope you enjoy if you're not really interested in the uh ranking of tracks content i don't blame you it's probably not for everyone but I did enjoy making them, so that's all that matters. So yeah, I'm going to go. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you soon. Thank you so much, and goodbye.